Actually, I have a question for you. Um, Alzheimer's, dementia, this is, I spent the second half of my time volunteering in, in college um, at this nursing home in the Alzheimer's ward. It's locked down, all that stuff. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a wild circumstance. It's, I can't even describe it. But when you're talking about trying to identify when that comes on, it comes on and creeps on very slowly. Mm-hmm. And so unless you're paying very close attention to what mom or dad or grandpa or grandma are doing, you're not going to see it. So my question for you is this. Do you guys help people police that? In other words, I notice that mom is is not quite the same as she used to be. She declined. She's still okay. She's driving her maybe and she's doing things on her own and seem, things seem to be all right. But I can tell we're not far away from that event or that moment where things go the other direction. Do you guys help and just kind of keep an eye on that? Are you, I mean, I don't know if it's a companion or if it's someone who just regularly comes and checks up on somebody. But is that a part of, of what you do, or would that be a smart thing for someone to do? That would be a smart thing for um, adult ch- children to look into. Uh, we can help and assist on both sides, on the home health side as well as the home care side. Um, if there is a you know di- diagnosis of dementia, slight dementia, and their parents are still at home, we can assist with uh a personal care assistant, you know, set up medication reminders, make sure they're taking medications when they should be and and the correct medications. Um, On the health, on the home health side, when Alzheimer's or dementia reaches a level that uh, mom or dad or grandma, grandpa need a level of memory care, um, we can come in and help on the home health side with speech therapy, occupational therapy, and physical therapy. Um, to keep their their strength and mobility okay up. and then just to kind of add to that if you are it, if it is on the home health side and, and it's a clinical need again it's a conversation that needs to take place with with mom or dad or grandma or grandpas or your physician you have to open that conversation up sometimes and we can have a nurse come in and do a home safety assessment um, make sure that, you know, a nurse can come in, check them out, check their vitals, uh, make sure there's nothing on the floors, uh, cords, rugs in the bathroom that might be slippery. Um, we can have, if, um, if, it, there, if Medicare, Medicare typically does uh, cover this, but other insurances may not, but we can also have a social worker, licensed clinical social worker come in and talk to the patient and their family about, their, about the resources um, available to them, Meals on Wheels, that might be able to help um, their loved ones stay at home, uh, maybe getting them, you know, on introduced to Medi-Cal, um, other types of insurances, other just resources within the community that maybe because you're not familiar with it, you have no idea that they exist. And that's the thing, you know, with, with now the medical advances we've talked about, how there's a good side and kind of a downside to it. Um, but now the nice thing is you can tell, you can get a test done and see if you're predisposed to getting Alzheimer's or there's there's like a, a little gene or something. Isn't I don't know. That I'm not amazing? A doctor. It's crazy, but they can figure that out. And so that is a really worthwhile test to have done. And think if you know that you could possibly have it someday that I mean and then to be able to plan, kind of work backwards and kind of plan ahead, I mean, that's crucial. You know, one of the things I think that has helped my grandparents live to be so live so long and live so vibrantly is that they do a lot of brain type activities so a lot of crossword puzzles a lot of reading and things like that so yeah yeah (laughs) so especially if you know ahead of time that okay I'm predisposed to this doesn't mean I'm going to get it but it means that I have a higher likelihood than someone else randomly then maybe I should start doing some of these preventative things and maybe we should introduce that stuff to mom or dad and we bring in someone to do that with them we bring in a companion they come in we have an agenda for them they're going to talk they're going to do this but they're also going to do some brain exercises they're going to do some things that'll help them you know prevent as much as possible because a lot of time I mean let's be honest I mean we're all with regard to our health you know we're just trying to slow the decline I mean we're just holding on to the thing as long Mm -hmm. as we can and so the more that you can do that the better and your mind is an important thing to have together because your mind allows you to take care of yourself, allows you to notify other people when you don't feel right or when things aren't going well or when something hurts, uh, or when something's not happening the way it's supposed to be. So I think that that right there might be a huge aha from today's show for most people. Is this the concept of, you know, hey, let's put a force field out there. Instead of trying to punch back after we get hit in the face, let's go ahead and Put a force field out there and say, hey, let's let's bring someone into the equation who can help police the situation for us. You guys think that that's, that's a worthwhile thing for people to consider? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, if, 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 like Ashley was saying, if she had known that these 
types of resources were available to her and her family and just offering even just for her parents, you know, to have a take a break and have some respite care and maybe have mom go and get a, a mani pedi while someone else takes care of of, you know, of Ashley or their, their, their parents, you know, so that they can be a better caregiver when they come home. That's even available. The great part about Western Health is that you don't have to sign a contract. You don't have to say, I want, you know, I'm stuck into this care for this amount of time. You can call us up and within 24 to 48 hours, if you say, I have a nail appointment that I want, I really need to go to, I'm going out of town you know, for three days, and I just, mom or dad, I can't take mom or dad with me. I'm going with my own family. Can you please help? We'll be there. WesternHealthHomeCare.com is the website. Western Health, just think about us. We're on the west side, <laughs> okay? Health is what we're talking about, and specifically home care. So WesternHealthHomeCare.com. I want to ask you guys one more really important question. Okay. And this has to do, we're a big military town, okay? And I, I think everyone can agree that a lot of the vets, they don't get the treatment that they deserve when they come back here. A lot of the ones, especially ones who have been injured and so on and so forth, uh, it takes them months and months and months to be seen at the VA hospital and all that stuff. Is, is there anything out there potentially, possibly, maybe, that uh, a, a vet could get assistance with this type of care? So there is a possible uh pension benefit that the VA has. It's called the aid in attendance pension benefit. And not every veteran or surviving spouse qualifies for it, but they might. And there's a good chance. And we do partner with an agency called uh, Veterans Home Care, and they do the legwork and the qualifying process and the application process. So the family or the client would not have to wait in line at the VA or fill out, I heard it's like a 30-page application form. Um, They do not have to do that. The agency takes care of it. It's at no cost to the client. And if they qualify, they could get up to a couple grand a month specifically for home care. Wow. That is great news. I, I mean, I, I, I'm, a couple grand a month could go a long way uh, to really helping someone in a situation like it that. It can actually help, you know, five to six days a week, almost pretty much full time to, to assist with that. That's it's, amazing. Yeah, to come in to come in for five to six hours a day daily. Now, is this something that you would specifically be able to point someone in the right direction for? In other words, if there's someone listening right now, mom or dad's a vet, and they might need this type of care, they could call you guys, and you guys could help get them the right people? Absolutely. So all they have to do is just call us. We will put them in contact with, with them if, if they are more comfortable with with the family calling Veterans Home Care directly, or if they want a phone call from them, we can set it up however they feel comfortable. Uh, we will make sure that they, they get the information that they need. Is the 6800 number the number we should give? They can call to 619-293-6800, or they can call our private home care line directly, which is 619-293-6820. And all that information is on the website as well. Yeah. But um, we will definitely put them in contact with them. Yeah, this is something you, you've got to look into this. Uh, there, there are way too many vets out there who are in the situation. They need this type of care. The, you know, the assistance is available. Uh, let the experts help you figure out how you can best take care of your loved ones. WesternHealthHomeCare.com is the website. WesternHealthHomeCare.com or you can call 619-293-6800. So just 619-293-6800. 6800. Did you guys have fun in the San Diego Spotlight today? We did. Yes, we did. Thank, Thank you, both. you. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Thank you both so much, Melissa Sobelman and Ashley Alexander from WesternHealthHomeCare.com, for coming in here today and helping educate our audience about this very important matter. We really appreciate your time. All right, that's it for today's show. Uh, thank you, everyone, for being a part of it. There's a lot of people involved in making this happen. We will be back again on Tuesday, same time, same channel. So save the station in your dial. We'll see you then. <laughs>